Please rise for the presentation of colors and the singing of our national anthem. Carl Albert High School graduation. My name is Aliti Carrillo and I am the Senior Class Co-Vice President. In just a few minutes we will honor our Titan graduates. Hello, my name is Imani Jackson and I am also Co-Vice President. We would like to thank all parents, family, and friends who have come to help us celebrate. Hello, my name is Anisha Bazil. I am the Secretary of our Senior Class and I have the privilege of thanking our amazing principals. From myself and my peers, we give thanks for everything that all of you have done for us, for helping us reach our future goals, for pushing us beyond our limits, and most importantly, never giving up on us. We all know that we are loved by each and every one of you. Even though Mr. Foley may be a little intimidating sometimes, we all know he's a real sweetheart inside. So on behalf of me and my student body, I would like to say thank you to all of our principals for loving us, pushing us, and getting us to this day that we all worked so very hard for. And to my fellow students, Always remember, never lose hope, never give up, and never forget, once a Titan, always a Titan. Good evening, Titan families. I am so proud to be standing in front of this incredible group of seniors and to be a part of this very special moment in their lives. This year at Carl Albert High School, we've accomplished amazing things in academics, athletics, fine arts, and our philanthropic endeavor, swag for Miss Sabina, had only just begun. It is with great pleasure that we celebrate the leadership that you all have displayed through your four years at CA. First and foremost, I would like to thank the senior class sponsor, Mrs. Lisa Lofton, for all of her hard work to make today possible. I will now begin by recognizing this group of amazing administrators and counselors that I work alongside each and every day that make Carl Albert High School such a very special place. Mr. Stacy Foley, assistant principal. Ms. Crystal Ross, assistant principal. Mr. Josh Terry, assistant principal. Coach Mike Corley, athletic director. Mrs. Michelle Purcell, counselor. Ms. Laura Souza, counselor and Mrs. Becky Worth, counselor. I would also like to say thank you to our outstanding school board members, Mr. Leroy Porter, president, Mrs. Jimmy Nolan, clerk, Mr. Julian Strippy Biggers, member, Mr. Nathan McGuire, member, and Dr. Sylvia Kirk, member. And finally, to the amazing Dr. Rick Cobb, superintendent of Mid -School Middell Schools, thank you for your passion, your continued support, and for leading the charge for all Middell. We appreciate you so much. Prior to introducing our 2020 valedictorians, there is one last special group that I must recognize, the faculty of Carl Albert High School. For without your de dedication to excellence and your determination to create successful students, none of this would be possible. We will especially, especially miss our special retiring educator, Mr. Jeff Moore. You've made such an impact on the lives of so many students throughout their years in education. Thank you, Mr. Moore. We wish you the very best. Parents, it is with complete confidence that I tell you that this graduating class will take everything they have learned and become successful, accomplished adults that our society desperately needs. 
Throughout their four years of high school, within the span of 5,040 hours, they have achieved so many accomplishments. Just to name a few, this class has 20 state championships, including four-time football state champs, back-to-back -back state championships for softball and girls swim, numerous academic state championships and fine arts awards, and this year, for the first time ever, the Carl Albert High School academic team battled back and captured the state title. Ten of these students have also received the State Superintendent's Arts Excellence Award. This has been, there has been over $7,843,943 of scholarship money awarded to this group of seniors. And finally, they have raised over $199,093.86 in swag money to support Chad Ashley, Richard Morris, Troy Ann McCollum, and prior to COVID-19, they had already raised over $6,000 for Ms. Savina Muse, and they were well on their way to raising so much more. And do not worry, Titans, Ms. Savina will be our SWAG 2021 recipient, and we assure you, Class of 2020, we will make you proud. However, graduates, please remember that success can only be measured in your contributions to mankind. Consider the quote from Denzel Washington. At the end of the day, it is not about what you have or even have what you have accomplished. It's about who you have lifted up, who you've made better. It's about what you've given back. You have been such an integral part of so many amazing accomplishments while here at Carl Albert, but your imprint on the world has only just begun to take shape. The class of 2020 has an enormous heart and a strong willingness to care for others. These attributes will help guide you as you go into the world to make it a better place. Seniors, always remember, be bold enough to use your voice brave enough to listen to your heart, and strong enough to live the life you've always imagined. At this time, it gives me great pleasure to introduce our 42 valedictorians. These students have maintained a 4.0 or higher GPA throughout their four years of high school. What a huge accomplishment. Casey Engel. Madison Barron. Julia Bischoff. Pauline Bischoff, Macy Boren, Abigail Boyer, Alidi Carrillo, Blair Davis, Jacob Estes, Toby Ford, Berkeley Foster, Caleb Haggerton, Gavin Hamilton, Samuel Hinky, Hannah Hunt, Alexa Johnson, Cassidy Johnson, Chloe Johnson, Carme Jones. Carly Kelly, Zadie Lavalley, Ivan Ma, Ann Moore, Charles Moore, Jonathan Mosley, Zyler Moss, Wilson Mustashi. Ryan Parker, Mackenzie Pelletier, Michaela Ray, Lashali Samanthery, Camden Sexton, Deborah Stewart, Abigail Swanson, Morgan Tony. Zachary Tu, Jessica Walker, Jordan Walker, Genesis Walko, Brandon Whitney, Josie Wiley, Kinsey Whipley. Congratulations to all of you. 
Your commitment, hard work, and dedication has truly paid off. We know it is truly a team effort, and we are so fortunate to have Team Titan, parents, faculty, and students that all work together for the success of these young men and women. Titans, I wish you the best of luck in all of your future endeavors, and even though this is not the graduation ceremony that we all had imagined and looked forward to for the class of 2020, and that your senior year did not end as planned due to COVID-19, we are very confident that the strength, grit, and sheer determination that you continue to show throughout your career at Carl Albert High School will lead you to a successful future in which you can and will change the world for the better. Class of 2020, always remember, once a Titan, always a Titan. I would like to now call Mrs. Ross to the stage as she will be outlining the additional distinguished honors that are noted in the graduation program. Good evening. I'm honored to be able to explain the various honors and awards represented both in the program and by the different colored robes, stoles, cords, and medallions that will be worn by our students. This senior class has a wonderful mix of personalities and talents. I often say that one of my favorite parts of working at Carl Albert is that our students have the opportunity to be active in a variety of activities. This is what creates the unique environment where they support each other and still push each other to excel. This is evident when you see the variety of students that will be recognized by each of the following honors. First, our valedictorians that were previously introduced are wearing medals to symbolize their title. These students have earned a cumulative 4.0 or higher weighted grade point average at the end of their seventh semester of high school. Next, our National Honor Society students are in silver robes. These students have maintained a 3.5 overall grade point average, as well as earning required service and leadership points each year. The white stoles by, worn by some of the members indicate that they are three-year members. The silver and purple stoles recognize our technology students that are members of the National Vocational Technology Honor Society. To maintain membership in this organization, students must continue to earn all A's in their vocational or technology courses have excellent behavior and attendance in addition to performing community service. The students wearing the turquoise cords are members of the Middell Indian Education Program. The students wearing the red, white, and blue cords have earned the Shine Award for over 100 hours of community service throughout high school. These hours come from their various community activities and must be documented and verified during their final semester of high school through our County Commissioner's Office. The red and white cords are worn by students that have been active members in our school leadership program for at least two years. These students have organized many of the service projects our student body is able to participate in and have dedicated much of their time to our school. We also have a large number of students wearing medals earned while representing Carl Albert High School at state events. This includes both athletic, academic, chess, and fine arts state champions. Our state superintendent award winners have medals as well. These students are selected based on artistic and academic excellence and service to their communities. Also recognized in your program are our students that are receiving the certificate of distinction. These students have taken what is called the four by four curriculum, which means each of the four core subjects taken all four years, as well as two years of foreign language and two years of fine arts or technology while maintaining a 3.25 grade point average and passing all required state exams. To achieve the honor of Oklahoma Academic Scholars, the students must maintain a 3.7 grade point average or be in the top 10% of their class, take the required courses, and earn a 27 on the ACT or a 1220 combined score on the SAT on a national test date. We are also fortunate to have several AP scholars in this class. There are various levels of this award. All of these students have earned at least a three or higher on three or more exams, and our national AP scholar has earned a four or higher on eight or more exams, not including any exams they just finished this spring. The final recognition is for our two national merit finalists. These students earned this recognition by being in the top one half of 1% of this graduating class nationwide based upon select test scores, essays, and their transcripts. 
Students, you have put forth great effort and time into your academics and service projects. You have pushed each other to excel and you have succeeded. This is not the ending we envisioned for you all, but we are very excited for you all to start the next step on your journey. We are very proud of all of your accomplishments and we know you will impact the world as much as you have impacted our school and we will miss you all. My fellow graduates, I would like to take the opportunity to introduce to you the Carl Albert High School Class of 2020 Valley Victorians, Deborah Stewart, Ivan Ma, and Madison Barron for distinguishing themselves as the top scholars of our class. Congratulations to you all and your future accomplishments. Throughout our lives so far, we have experienced many unexpected events. These include not being tardy to fourth or fifth hour after going to Chick-fil-A to the pandemic we are currently facing. As we pass the threshold into adulthood, these unexpected events will continue. Some will be bad, some will be good, but they will almost always be of a greater magnitude than what we have faced so far. I could give a speech about what to do to reduce the chances of running into bad situations, such as not lying on your tax forms or setting up a retirement plan, but I have no experience dealing with adult issues such as those. Instead, I would rather give some advice that has worked for me, can be applied to nearly everyone, and can be useful at any stage of our lives no matter where we are or what we have. Number one, listen to your parents. I know some of you are rolling your eyes at me, but is there anyone who knows us so closely that has the amount of knowledge that they have? Parents are not perfect, but we can learn so much from them, whether it is using the advice that they give us or avoiding the same mistakes they made. Number two, give to the community. As many adults move through adulthood, they frequently neglect that they are part of a community. The community has been and will continue to be a positive force in our lives and we should give back whenever we can. Number three, don't hold yourself back from achieving your dreams. Many of the roadblocks we will face are our own internal fears and doubts, but they can be passed with a little confidence and not fearing failure. Number three, strive for perfection, but do not expect it. We should always be improving ourselves, but we should not feel like we are failing when we are not achieving perfection. We are all headed down different paths. Some of us are going to colleges all over the country, a bunch of us are going into the military or workforce, and a handful of us are going to learn a trade or do something else. Whatever paths we go down, all I can hope is that we each live fulfilling lives that will leave its helpful trace into the future. So good luck everyone, and I will leave you with a quote from the great philosopher and NBA star, Michael Jordan. Obstacles don't have to stop you. If you run into a wall, don't turn around and give up. Figure out how to climb it, go through it, or work around it. Hello, I hope that you're all doing well during this time of turmoil. Today, I will be talking about the present. Specifically, the importance of living in the present. So exactly, what does it mean to live in the present? Living in the present is about moving forward, coping with the loss of a loved one, amending damaged relationships, forgiving the transgressions of an individual. Moving forward is about going out every day and thinking, I'm going to do my best. The past is in the past and forever will be. The present is now and it's up to us to make what we want of it. How do we define the present? Is the present today, the week before, the week after? How do we differentiate the present from the past and future? Personally, I think the present is any idea, any event, that any thought <clears throat> that can directly affect my life. A great example of this is the current COVID-19 pandemic. <clears throat> COVID-19 has affected the entire infrastructure of society. Lives have been lost, jobs have been lost, even the average student's brain cell count has undergone a decrease, surprisingly. <clears throat> but in the end, COVID-19 will just be another page in the history books. Life will return to normal. Anyways, enough of COVID-19. I'm sure all of you have heard more, enough, more than enough about that over recent times. Now let's talk about why it's important to live in the present. Like I mentioned earlier, the past is in the past, but what about the future? All of us have something planned ahead of time. What am I going to eat for dinner? What are my next exams? What do I want to do when I grow up? 
Do I want to go to college? The future is a mystery. We didn't plan months and months, even years ahead of time, but all that can change in mere moments. <clears throat> the present will always be with you. Even when life gets rough, you know there are others with you during that move forward. The present is the greatest gift given to us. So let's cherish it the very moment of our uncertain lives. Thank you and stay safe. Good evening, class of Clear Vision. I mean, 2020. I'd first like to start out by thanking my administrators, teachers, coaches, my parents, my mom and dad, and you, my fellow graduates. 1,370 days ago, we walked into Carl Albert High School as timid freshmen, still grieving the tragic loss of Harambe and the official splitting up of One Direction. So sad. We would get lost in our school trying to find our lockers, just to go home and get lost in our neighborhoods trying to catch Pokemon in Pokemon Go. Most of us were unsure of ourselves, some too sure of ourselves, and some finally realized the magical power of using deodorant. Thank gosh you did. We learned that mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell, that our football team is the best in the state, and most importantly, that change is good. Transitioning to high school was a challenge, but most of us made new friends, adjusted, and were better for it. When sophomore year came around, many of us were more confident and comfortable with the high school experience. Most used this year as a learning experience. As juniors, many of us experienced hardship and stress. We had to learn to juggle jobs, the ACT, AP classes, extracurriculars, and driving, all with the added pressures of being an upperclassman. Through all this, we were still able to help others and raise $62,147 for swag. Many of us pushed each other, learned from each other, and grew with each other more and more with each passing day. Then came senior year. At this point, a lot of us were overwhelmed with senioritis. Yet we trooped through this year in the grueling process of applying to college. Once we finally figured things out and were looking forward to enjoying our final days of high school, we were forced to learn the art of sacrifice. This year, we grieved for more than just funny memes or harambe. We grieved for the loss of our prom our last day of school, and our normal graduation due to COVID-19. We sacrificed the end of our senior year in order to save fellow human lives, and for that, I could not be more proud. 1,370 days ago, we walked into Carl Albert High School, but we are not the same people walking out. We walk out having learned the new opportunities that change brings, the satisfaction in achieving goals the beauty in helping others, and the necessity of sacrifice. Do not forget to thank the people who got you here, whether it's your parents, teachers, coaches, mentors, or friends. High school is not just a building, it is a community, and I cannot be more proud or blessed to have such an amazing community as you guys. Congratulations, class of 2020. It has been an amazing four years with you. And I wish you all the very, very, very best. Thank you. Good evening, Titans. When your senior year began last fall, I'm pretty sure this isn't how you saw it going. We missed school days in August because of storm damage in our community. We had snow days in February. And then March 12th, it seemed as if our world had quit turning. As much change as we've endured since then, the world actually hasn't quit turning. Though it has seemed at times as if days and hours lack meaning, we still have, for the most part, risen with the sun, and gone to bed after it sets. Our response to living in a global pandemic has ranged the gamut of emotions. In conversations with the people close to me and throughout social media, I have seen reactions that are silly and serious, fearful and hopeful, certain and dubious, frustrated and appreciative. The best reactions, the ones that click the most with me at least, are the ones that show empathy. In the simplest terms possible, 
Empathy is the ability to see the world through the experiences and perceptions of other people, trying to understand what other people see and feel. While I can never fully understand what another person is dealing with in life, I can seek understanding of how significant events in your life have shaped you, how your life's experiences affect the way you interact with the world around you. Empathy fuels the best moments in literature, in sports, in film, and in music. Watching a team win a championship or lose one is an emotional journey. TV producers are usually pretty good about framing both sides of this experience in a way that tugs at us. A great book, song, and movie can do the same thing. Empathy is the main ingredient in character development and artistic engagement. Empathy also helps us frame history. Whether we are discussing the Civil War or the Civil Rights Movement, we need to know more than just timelines and simple biographies. We need to understand the motivations behind the individuals and groups who shaped public policy and the impacts of those decisions on other individuals and groups. Having empathy doesn't mean that we can feel what other people have felt, it just means that we seek to understand. History, of course, doesn't simply happen in the past. We're living it right now. I'm trying to understand what 14,000 students are feeling, even though I know I can't. It's a slurry of 14,000 different pinpoints, plus their families, plus the communities in which we live. The quickest lesson I have learned in this historical moment is that we're all experiencing it differently. Our healthcare professionals and the first responders have carried on with their work, and they've had to find another gear. Your teachers have continued teaching, all the while proving to be fast and flexible learners themselves. We've also all been impacted by the loss around us. The toll of this moment is immeasurable. This is the time of year when I usually look out over hundreds of graduates and tell you that where you go from here, the workforce, the military, college, family, it's all up to you, and it still is. But wherever you go and whatever you do, I implore you to begin your journey with empathy. Just as there is no singular correct way to handle triumph, there's also no singular correct way for handling loss. We all respond differently. We're wired differently. We've been through different challenges in life. When you come across someone else on a different journey, or maybe on a different pathway to the same destination, I hope you'll seek first to understand and choose to be kind even when understanding is difficult. You're all graduating high school today, and some of you are excited because you made it this far. Some of you are excited for what comes next. You're both right. And if you're full of dueling emotions right now that you can't seem to reconcile, that's right too. Congratulations, seniors. We're all proud of you. Hello, parents, relatives, friends, teachers, administrators, and of course, the class of 2020. My name is Abby Boyer, your senior class president. It is an honor to be speaking in front of all of you today. When I was preparing to write this speech, I honestly put it off. Not because I was scared to cry in front of all of you, but because I couldn't believe it was finally time to close this chapter of our lives. I especially didn't expect our senior year to end the way it did or when it did. We were supposed to have the greatest last year of high school to just reflect on all the memories, friendships, and personal growth we've all obtained. Instead, we got a lot of those special things taken away from us. Everyone always said our graduating class had 2020 vision, but I guarantee none of us envisioned it ending like this. Although this year will go down in history forever, it doesn't change who we are and how bright our futures are. Seniors, we finally did it. After 12 long years of snack time, recess, coloring anything and everything, to using lockers for the first time, to having electives and patio time, to being baby freshmen, to rushing in the cafeteria to get in the all-part lines, to having our first swag week, to being able to drive, to winning numerous state championships and, and excelling in all of our arts programs, to having our first prom, to having the coolest assemblies, to being targeted if you weren't wearing your ID, to ordering our caps and gowns and just walking into school each and every day knowing it was all going to be over. I know all the emotions and memories are crazy being a senior, but they've all shaped us into who we are today. Our teachers and administrators have given us the tools to flourish and find our purpose in the real world. We went from being the lowest on the totem pole to being the top dogs who are ready to take on our own futures. We have been well prepared to tackle this next phase of life like a champion. I mean, we are some of the champions after all. We have grown into strong and intelligent young people. I personally can say that each and every one of you is full of potential. You will do things you never even imagined doing and some of you will do things that you've always dreamed of doing. 
I want you to know that life doesn't have to stop because we can't see what the future holds. So I say this to the class of 2020. Life is many things, but it is just getting real for us. Life will continue to move on whether we think we're ready or not. We can all say that we've learned nothing ever goes exactly how we planned. I mean, look at our senior year, for example. But how interesting would life be if we knew how everything was going to unfold? I encourage you to find a reason to live each day like it's your last. Find the positives in every situation because there's always a light at the end of the tunnel. It might be school, a job, a relationship, or something that you're passionate about. Everything has an end, but that also means that there is going to be a beginning. We all have important qualities that we, that we hold to make a difference. We are the generation that will make a change. We are the future. But all of you are what makes the future so bright. To my fellow classmates, we finally did it. Now it's time for us to make an impact on the world. Just never forget you are worth it. Once a Titan, always a Titan. Thank you. Class of 2020, please rise. Board of Education, the 2020 senior class of Carl Albert High School has met the requirements set forth by the State Department of Education and the Middle School District. I now present to you the senior class of 2020 to receive their diplomas. Amara Allen. Cora Allison. Marion Anderson. Casey Angle, Keenan Arnold, Chrissy Avalar, Luke Bales, Madison Barron, Abigail Bazemore. Ashton Beggs, Julia Bischoff, Pauline Bischoff, Lanisha Bazell, Anna Blackburn, Kenneth Blood Jr., Jordan. Bonds, Macy Boren, Alyssa Borzak, Martasia Bowen, Abigail Boyer, Malaya Boyland, Caitlin. Braun, Liam Brewer, Montrell Britt, Kelly Brooks, Aaliyah Brown, Antone Brown, Isabella Brown. Alexis Brumley, Raven Buchanan, Amaya Burley, 
Donovan Bush. Malcolm Calvin Ham. Alidi Carrillo. Ethan Channel. Timothy Chavez. Latarion Cheadle. Billy Chin. Austin Clyburn. Reese Collier. Janessa Connolly. Gregory Catoni. Trevor Coyle. Austin Crow. William Cummings. Abigail Curling. Christian Curran. D'Angelo Darty. Blair Davis. Dewan Davis. Gracie Davis. Jared Davis. Kaylee Davis. Michaela Davis. Cassandra Dennis. Xavier Dewberry. Gabriel Droit. Benjamin Dunkwu. Colton Easton. Matthew Edelman. JC Ellis. John Epperly. Abigail Epperson. Jacob Estes. Crystal Evans. Addison Favors. Caden Favors. Michael Flores. Preston Flowers. Toby Ford. Bailey Foster. Berkeley Foster. Kristen Fox. Sierra Fox. Ryan Frazier. Jacob Fry. Jonathan Fulkerson. Quaylen Fuller. Jacob Gentry. Alizé Gibson. Jayon Gilkey. Tierra Givens. Michaela Gray. Armani Grayson. Cecilia Gregory. Chloe Gustafson. Kayla Haggerton. Caitlin Hall. And Azalea Hamilton. Gavin Hamilton. Julia Hansen. Treasure Harris. Sydney Hot. 
Justin Hendry Samuel Hinky Dalton Hernandez Elijah Hernandez Aliyah Herrera Jada Hill Madison Hill Olivia Hill Seth Hinchy Roderick Hopkins Jorde Who Hannah Hunt Ray Hurst Tegan Irving Imani Jackson Kyra Jackson Matthew Jackson Gavin Jenkins Alexa Johnson Alexander Johnson Cassidy Johnson Chloe Johnson Christopher Johnson Dominique Johnson Joshua Johnson Piaget Johnson Carme Jones Alphonse Joseph Jr. Kale Callahan Colton Canale Landon Casey Jessica Casson Lewis Keeling Carly Kelly Faith Kelly Demarion Kinchin Jason Kirkland Taylor Lair Gunner Lane Jacob Larson Savannah Lasky Zadie Lavalle Kobe Lemons Wardell Lelofier Ivan Ma Caleb Maxi Benedicta Embro Gabriel McCauley Caitlin McCord Justice McGinnis Kaylee Middleton Delaney Milton Alyssa Molina Michael Montgomery Charles Moore Ian Moore Riley Mortimer Jonathan Mosley Zyler Moss Nicole Murdoch Wilson Mustachia Jacob Nix 
Carly Novotny Kennedy Owen Ross Uthier Juliana Padilla Brandon Parker Ryan Parker Mackenzie Pelletier Dakota Perez David Peters Joshua Phillips Catherine Phillips Blake Pickett Jacob Pierce Penelope Pogue Afton Hospital Jeffrey Pointer Tommy Pratchell Aries Preston Michaela Ray Philip Redinius Braden Reed Daniel Richardson Cyrus Rakina Stacia Riley Trinity Rebus Hugh Roberts Hannah Rodriguez Bashali Samantheri Michaela Sill Cade Sellers Dylan Sewell Camden Sexton Brianna Shaw Nathaniel Shawhan Aubrey Shipman Kendall Simmons Chase Sloman Kanan Smith Timothy Smith the Fourth William Smith Melody Soto Catherine Souza Ethan Sparks Amari Spriggs Amaya Stevenson Deborah Stewart Kobe Stewart Malena Stober Logan Striplin Reagan Summers Abigail Swanson Cooper Swearingen Kevin Taylor Carson Thomas Jared Thompson Taylor Tompkins Morgan Tony Mason Top Javion Trailer Lauren Trotter Zachary Two Cameron 
Turner Madison Turner Clifford Arquizio Bethany Van Berkleo Ryan Vaughn Cheyenne Vila Alondra Vineyard Angelina Walker Jessica Walker Jordan Walker Genesis Walko Jackson Walsh Zachary Walters Olivia Ward Kuhn Webster Mesa Webster Madison Wells Mariah West Donald White Octavius White Brandon Whitney Victoria Wickware Josie Wiley Seth Wilkerson Adrian Williams Desiree Williams Hannah Williams Zoe Williams Rico Wyndham Mackenzie Whitley Holly Wood Kobe Wood Kaylee Woody Ariel Woolridge Mateo Young Lane Youngblood You may change your tassels. Congratulations. We did it.